This is such a good question. This is a good question. This is really a great question. Alan asked, how can I improve and evolve as an up-and-coming or young barber? So this is an awesome question. See, he's not asking uh, how do I become the best barber or how do I be someone else or even how do I open my own shop. He's asking how do I improve and how do I evolve? Alan, this industry used to be very traditional. Like the trade used to be passed down from generation to generation, but the whole industry is evolving. So, so I'm going to answer this for you in, in, in two parts. No one was born with the skill to be able to, you know, just cut it from birth, you know. You learned the skill, or you were taught the skill, or, you know, you learned it through observation, or, you know, just like we say in Afrikaans, um, so there's two parts, really, when it comes to learning the skill. One, you go to college, you go to hairdressing school, and you learn the trade there. Or you learn it um, inside a barbershop, or, you know, on your own with everyone moving now towards you know this consciousness of health and safety it's a really really good idea um, it's not just to add value to yourself but to add value to your clients to let them know that you take this trade seriously and you value them so you go to college and you learn this trade the proper way if you've learned on your own um, you can still become a qualified and go and take the final exam or the trade test but you need to have accumulated three uh, years of experience. So that experience you pick up through or learning under the guidance of a qualified. So that's the two parts that you can go, but as much training as you possibly can get even online training now with uh, health and safety and those types of things. Those are things that you want to do right now. And that is how this industry is evolving. I'm really happy about the fact that, you know, people now want to become qualified and the clients are now asking, have you done any training or are you qualified? There's this big move towards that right now. So that's uh, evolving or how the industry is evolving. To improve in this industry, you have to become intentional. You know, so become intentional with your time, be uh, very, very consistent, and then set yourself some goals. So what I did when I started is that I told myself, this week I want to improve how long it takes me to do a cut. So I won't cut any way. For example, today I start a haircut on the top and I work the way down, or the next haircut I do from the bottom up. I become very intentional because I try to measure how long does it take me to do this, right? So. I will do it the same way there's a structure in how I do it and and then I can measure how long it takes me so I'll become very intentional with my time so this week's goal for me is is that how do I improve my time your goal might be different you might say I want to improve my, my blending so you then take every three moment that you have and you work on that one goal that's how you improve in this industry be being consistent uh, in this context is I'm consistently working on my craft. I'm consistently there. I'm on time for work every day. I'm in the shop every day. I'm not walking around. I'm there when a new client walks in. I'm there when a client walks in that hasn't made a, an appointment. I'm there. So I'm, I'm, I'm consistent. So those are things that you want to work on while you are improving yourself in this trade. Uh, I hope this helps you. Um, I gotta get back to go. I still got a few cuts to go and do, but really great question, man. That's a, a awesome question. Be intentional with your time. Like leave out the fluff. You know that we, uh, you know, there's no structure. We cutting a little bit and we combing. That's fine, but cutting a little here, cutting a little there, all over the place. Leave out the fluff. Right? Get structure. Tell yourself, I'm gonna start. You know what the client wants, so you're gonna start. You're gonna cut. The shortest length and then cut the top and then uh, line it up and then polish start to blend so if that's your structure you need to get structure because that's what's going to save you time so what i did right in the beginning is i used to check what time i start and then i start cutting and then once i'm done i see how long did that take me so then i can start working on that would be my starting point so now i know okay it took me 22 minutes to do this haircut so now I know, okay, 22 minutes is my time, and I can now start working from there. So that's my advice on being intentional with your time.
fajn podcast, jak se je, um, a je se je, um, dal jsi toho mi za čuku, uh, <laughs> to má nuts, aj ty. And then you have to see the backlash I got on social media. Yeah. People were like, well, I don't know what you're talking about, how can you say that? Two yeah. trucks blew over yeah, on the... Yeah. I'm like, listen, <laughs> we were talking about the storm. Yeah. Yogi closed his barbershop <laughs> until Saturday because there's a massive storm coming. But um, it was a chuku, and I mean, if you look out now, where's the storm? Where's the storm? Where's the storm? Where's the storm?